Hey everybody, I'm Recycle, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim VR Diabolist. So, this is Coltskager Mine, but a place where you don't want to be in Coltskager Mine. Actually, it's possible to fall in this little hole um, somewhere around here. I guess we can try to find it again. I guess it's between those two platforms, and somehow you can fall in between these two things. And once you're down here, you're basically completely stuck. There's no way out of here. And um, it looks like you can fit through here, but actually you can't because of the way hitboxes are in this game and crouching that is sneaking does not change the size of your hitbox at all. So can be a problem. And in this case, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm stuck down here and I can't fast travel out and I have a spell that I can use to portal out of here. But the problem is the way that spell works, it always brings me back to the place where I casted it from. And this is not where I want to be. So really the only solution here is to open the console and let's use TCL to get out of here. Oh boy, it's in 3D, that's nice. Okay, so if clipping is off, does that just mean, oh. Oh, okay, in, three, in uh, VR you can just fly in any direction when you're TCL. Hey look, there's more gold here, we should get that. But anyway, let's turn that off. And yeah, I can show you exactly what happened. So I was just walking up here and I guess I fell. I think I fell right here. Uh, well, I don't know. Just be careful. Oh, no, this this hole right here. You can fall in that hole and then you're stuck forever. If you fall in this hole right here, Colskager, you are screwed. Well, anyway, yeah, this is Colskager mine. We got all the gold or we will get all the gold probably in the next scene because I had to do these uh, shoots out of order. Whoopsie doodle. That's what happens when you just start recording and then keep recording and then do a whole episode, but never do an introduction. Then you have to do one later and make it make sense. So yeah, welcome to Colskager mine. And here's the rest of the episode. Let's go back to Markarth because that was hard to render. Um, I guess I closed the portal. Oh, that sucks. This doesn't go anywhere. Well, we'll be coming back here for sure. This place is easy to render. Yeah, basically. If you see monsters from far enough away to shoot them, then that's far enough. Like at some point, I can't really snipe very well. So, if we can sneak, pretty good. Because eventually we'll be getting basically one hit. Headshots and kills. I haven't been up there. There's these natural looking bridges. That one looks natural. That one looks built. Oh, there's ruins up there too. And that must be a dragon roost. Yeah, dragon roost anywhere up high probably, but I need a real test. So this place is hard to render. The finest jewelry Ugh, in all of the most disgusting merchant I've ever seen. The guards should take you away. The only huh. people I offend are cheats who don't pay me enough gold coin, or idiots who don't know good meat when I throw it at their faces. If you ever think of throwing meat at me, I will have you dragged off to Sydney Mine so fast the guards will. Oh. Ain't those filthy Red arms of yours off. And I can't Every pick it up. What do I do to deserve such hatred? You give people good food at good prices, uh. and all they do is <laughs> insult you. Uh. Need something? Can you not talk? Oh, did you need something? I guess not. The bloodiest beef in the reach. You can have it back. You should wash your meat before eating it anyway. Um, never know where it's been. Well, I mean, you're gonna cook it, but... I think it's harder to render at nighttime. Although, yeah, candles lag you. I haven't seen a single slowdown. So, surely we can do a... Hey, look, a bucket. Cat's phasing out. So the trick is, you go into a shop that has a lot of shit to steal. This place doesn't. And then, um, you put a bucket on someone's head. And it stays there, and now they can't see you, because there's stuff in the way. Same logic that keeps them from seeing through walls and corners works that way. And fortunately, didn't patch it. They patched it in Fallout 4. Uh, it would work, but you gotta be more inventive. So I think her armor is probably pretty good, because she came with armor. She doesn't have any armor. I need to make her some armor. But yeah, I can crank up the graphics a little bit more. So let's do that. Oh, and I shouldn't have left that portal there because of, uh, we walking into it by accident and stuff. But someplace out of the way, like, this place looks really important. Is this the main palace? No, this is the ruins. So, uh, yeah, these are places no one really goes. Okay. All right, so we'll just leave that over there. So when we want to go back to Kolskiger, we can do it. But otherwise, yeah, let's save the game. 
Well, let's crank it up. You don't have to exit VR, just exit Skyrim. Looks good. You strike your metal like a new mother giving her babe a light slap. Hit it harder. I'm sorry, Gorza. I just flinch and done. If you can't pound the dusk out of your iron, it'll break when it's finished. Hit it harder. Get some balls, motherfucker. And beat the balls into you. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, shit. I mean, it doesn't really make sense standing on top of a turning wheel. I just chose this number because... Who lives here? The Warrens. Huh. Sounds like a place for, uh, the lives, I guess. Don't want to see anything orange. Okay, well, the quality is so good that, uh, don't really give a shit. This is fine. And we can talk to that guy for sure. That's always a fun quest. <laughs> Another mace. I think it has an innate soul trap that never runs out or something. Or maybe it's just a mace with soul trap. I don't know. It's a cool looking mace. Um, yeah, I do want to go back to Cole Skager because we need to finish this smithy thing. And I think my audience is tired of hearing about it. And then we can travel around the world looking for ore. Almost wander off the uh, ledge. And uh, this is not where I thought it was. Where the fuck did I cast it? I definitely casted it right here, but it's gone. Okay, well, whatever. I guess that's what happens, they just disappear. Get in. Oh, it expires instantly. That's what, when you come out of it, it evaporates. So you leave one, yeah. You leave it there and then you come back. Um, I just need a shit ton of gold. This guy's not here to tell me not to do this. So, uh, this one in the middle is going to be the easiest. It's too bad they're all out of slip because the shit's going to fall down. Oh, good. You can work the dead one that doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, everything's easier when it's running smooth, I gotta tell you. And I wish I could play at 120 hertz, but even if I turn Oculus... Uh, the render resolution down to the very minimum that it even allows. I still see my controllers freaking out and not catching up, which means something's overloaded and bad times. So I think this is exactly where I'll stay unless uh, I run into something that's more challenging. But that's why we have adaptive uh, FPS thing mod. It's not good at making really huge adjustments. But it can be just like the little bit of extra polish you need to get a few extra frames, so recommend it. Look at that reprojection ratio. We don't reproject, bitch. We don't never reproject. And so I'm using 90 hertz with the recommended resolution from Oculus. But you can turn down the resolution and then just turn up super sampling in your game. And I'm actually using VR Perf Kit here. To, yeah, it's my gold, bitch. You don't take it. Um, to upsample from a lower resolution. I'm only rendering three quarters of uh, what it would have been naturally in the headset. And then upsampling it to the native headset. Did that fall through the ground? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... Because you can't get gold the normal way anymore. Like, you click it, nothing happens. They took that out. It doesn't do anything. Oh, and... You can pick things up in your hand. There's just no prompt. I was complaining about how awkward it was. So I'd have to like throw it in the air so I could see the prompt and then grab it as it was flying through the air. <laughs> like for example, if I had something in my hand. Oh, you can just press the A button, duh. I was like, oh, but there's no prompt. So I'd be like, uh, oh, got it. Well, it was fun while it lasted. It fell into, a that was a precious gem, you bastard. There's like a, there's stuff here. Oh, there's a fucking hidden passage here with tons of shit in it. Son of a bitch. Like who's gonna think to stick their fucking head in the dirt? This uh, hill we're standing on is some kind of set piece. Man, this is like a really shitty place to mine. No, don't fall in the hole. <laughs> I never figured out what that white flash was. I think it means like I'm out of stamina or something, but no, it seems to slow me down. I don't know. Well, I know where to look for him now. You'd think I'd be trying to get rich, and well, yeah, I am. All the good stuff is bound to be in those loot boxes. Even just the regular stuff people sell, it's so expensive. 
<laughs> I guess I better go around and pet some more cats to level up my speech. It's like a free persuade check. Because if it's a nice domestic kitty, then of course it's going to like being petted. And that counts as a success. Whoa. Yeah, I think cats think uh, we're actually grooming them as we pet them. That's why they like it. It's a thing a mother does to her kittens. But we just keep on doing it and they think we're kind of big weird cats. So, yeah, it just disappears into the fucking ether. It's like, well, where'd it go? It's like, gee, I don't know. Um, oh, there it goes. <laughs> into the hole. Oh, now you're working this one? Good timing. It's only enough for 100 ingots. Or, uh, 200 rings. What? Did I hurt you? I'm sorry. I mean, I accidentally swung it a little hard and it went whoosh. He doesn't seem to care. I must have bumped him or something. For your help. I'm sending word to the orc strongholds that you're to be trusted. You should be welcome there now. Awesome. Maybe that means I could keep the, uh, the gloves of smithing or whatever the hell they're called. May your next fight bring you victory, friend. Thanks, dude. Real big of you. But so far, practically all my fights have brought me victory. I should probably crank up the difficulty. <laughs> it's good to get piles and piles of fucking gold ingots. You can't pick stuff up with your left hand. I mean, you can grab it, but you can't, you know, put it in your inventory. I mean, in Fallout 4, you do everything right-handed, so that would make sense over there. But in Skyrim, you can, you know, dual wield. So I think some of the controls should be ambidextrous or whatever. I found a vein of silver. I didn't finish draining it. I need to go back there. We need silver to make all this jewelry from these precious stones we're pulling up. Of course, I can transmute it, but silver is a pain in the ass because it automatically transmutes into gold if you keep pushing it. So you have to drop it every time you make one out of iron. Yeah, I was surprised how good the 4K capture came out, but I did detect a little bit of stutter, and I don't think overall that the gain in fidelity was really worth the loss of the smoothness of more than 60 frames per second. The way you can blend them together to create an even smoother video. I just love it. Especially in VR because it does feel fucking smooth when you're playing it. On a good machine with the right settings. We're responsive and good. Get you in the flow. With all these mods and stuff, I wonder if there's like some really fancy armor or weapon we can make out of just iron or steel or something. Because it's the value of the thing you made that gives you the skill when the uh well they changed it pretty quick the first generation <laughs> the first version of skyrim you could just build daggers over and over and get a hundred you know skill of blacksmithing we don't stop at a hundred we can enhance it with enchanted shit become super duper blacksmith blacksmiths any hole in the ground probably a little bit uh can't trust anything around here oh there's a hole in your platform are you shitting me i think i'm actually stuck here <laughs> it's a good thing i have that gate spell i don't think i can get out unless there's like a chair to suck me in or something uh, anything I can use over here? Help. Let me out. I'm not sure if cheating is turned on. Oh, good. I wiggled out. Oh, but can I get out of here? You're not supposed to be in here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna cast. <laughs> Conjure the void gate. Doesn't go very far. Take me somewhere. All the way back. <laughs> they unfold out of like a pixel. It's so funny. All right, but uh, I'm not done there. Let us return. Although, it's the right place. But now we're all fucked. Um, if you could just get through here. The gang gets so pissed about that. All right. <sighs> you can get in, but you can't get out, of course. Probably takes any mana. Really cool spell. Great mod. Love it. Jeez. Well, I guess while we're here, we can get to work. 
How much silver do I even have? Hardly any. I had to go get more. It was a really important skill I wanted to raise. I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, double mining. <laughs> As if we even needed more ore. Nice. Oh, we're mining, uh, doing iron. I don't want to do that. No, oh, I can't do it yet, because I'm not good enough at smithing. Gotta learn. Excellent. 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 Yeah, it runs so smooth. Love it. Could be a little sharper, but pretty good. Oh, you can click. Yeah, because, like, if I wanted a weapon, but I just wanted the most damaging one, I'd find out. It's actually shurikens, which normally don't return to your hand. It's a type of dagger. Oh, you get 20 of them. They do a shit ton of damage. Yeah, so that's why that Ogrim's mace that we found is so good. It's more powerful than anything else I can make right now. But I can make more stuff in the future. The best thing is to make jewelry when you're first starting. The more value, the better. Wait, so this takes two garnets and a silver ingot. Okay, if you just had silver, you can make these masks. I guess we need to meet someone called Gerald. I can see you know what you're doing. I'm out of silver. And we still don't have enough skill. Could make more gold rings, but... Alright, well, let's leave a void gate here. And, uh, it doesn't really matter where. But... Yeah. Right here. Oops! I'm just standing here. Calm your shit. Um... <laughs> whatever. It's to come out of, not to go into, since it leads uh, <laughs> into a trap. Yeah, I marked the spot where there's uh, silver, but it's not near any place except this place, maybe. But we've never been there. I guess we'll have to go here. Yeah, my new weapons. <laughs> Gotta find some landmarks, man. Try have to run this far. Game's opening up, though, because of, uh, I feel so strong, I can just run around killing stuff. I don't gotta be too afraid, especially with two of these powerful warriors. Uh, in a hurry, I guess. There's a cave. How did I not discover the cave? It's right here. Next to the silver. Oh, that was foolish of me. I could have easily found this cave. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's just get the silver and get the hell out of here. Wait. <laughs> Are you another hot chick I can hire? You're all alone. No, that's just a bounty hunter. Oh, hello. <laughs> I had a torch once upon a time. That produces light and it's a weapon. I can't hurt anyone with candlelight. It's not a very good offhand thing to carry with a pickaxe. Although, a pickaxe is a weapon too. Although not a great one. I don't think it'd be upgraded either. Well, we got a hundred. That's probably enough, but... Who knows? More is always better, right? Oh, this is iron. Fuck. I hope it's enough. I guess we should check out the cave while we're here. We're just not. All right. Anyway, let's go inside and see what the hell's in here. Just randomly. Oh, you know what? This is a dungeon for which you need an ivory claw, I think is the one. And uh, unless there's a dead guy here with it on his body or something stupid like that, then uh, I ain't got that. Here's some orcish. Here's a dead guy. He's got Lost Legends. That's pretty good. All kinds of good loot. But no claw. Oh, there's the claw. Duh. The Emerald Claw. And an ancient edict. Let this place be forgotten forever. Let it be stricken from the rolls of history. Let it never be spoken of by man or myrrh. Let its very name be lost to the ages. Ye who enter here, know it. This place was sealed at a great price. Honor those who perished here. Turn back and leave them to their rest. Yeah, no, we don't do that. So you can look at stuff. There it is. Bear, whale, snake. Got enough doors? Oh, I'm sure there's trouble ahead. Wait, do we need a different claw? I don't remember. Uh, oh, this has a dragon on it. I don't think we have the right claw. So I think this is a dungeon involved in um, the Mage's Guild and uh, we can't get in yet. But uh, you know, one day, no more dead guys with claws. Oh yeah, so you can use gestures to get spells. There's at least a couple of spells I need to bind to some kind of gesture because I keep summoning void gates and summoning my bow. <laughs> and probably one for candlelight too, at least. I can just figure it out. Probably in the MCM. Oh, that's fucking sick, dude. So you can't just bind anything, but you can use the thumbsticks because I guess they don't really get used for anything otherwise. Well, 
mostly. But um, yeah. So like, I could be chilling with my shit and just be like, "Kupa!" Oh, okay. no, I can't because oh, I don't have any mana. Yeah. All right. So I'm chilling with my weapons, and I'm like, "Oh shit!" An opportunity, and I'm just like, "Kwa, Quincy desu, Kupa!" <laughs> So, we left the void gate in town. Oh yeah, void gate. Uh, what's a void gate like? Kind of like a Hadouken, I guess? This is kind of hard to render. Maybe we're at the right spot. Graphically. What? Oh, you're shit fucked. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Top guy? Assassin? <laughs> Search the pile of ash. A contract against me? Come back soon, my child. Master E. Um, probably the Dark Brotherhood or something. I guess I could have pissed someone off. Wow, look at all the arrows that I don't need. Oh well. Uh. Oh yeah, so I'm trying to cast Void Gate. Um. Oh. It works, but it's kind of glitchy. I'm sure I'll get used to it. Oh no! It's this place again. Fuck. <laughs> Let me out. It's a good thing I didn't cast that too far away, or I'd have been ship fucked. Um, you know, I think we're kind of screwed because of uh, the fact that I use it to get out of a place that normally can't be gotten out of. Um. I need to reset the mod somehow or something. It's like the guy said you can't reset it without doing it yourself, but now I'm in a situation that if I don't reset it, I can't even use it. So, uh, <laughs> maybe I'll just ask him or something, or maybe there's a file I can fuck with. Yeah, so everything ragdolls. Oops. And, uh, birds warp if you drop them and they're still alive. Ugh. But like, yeah, they're pretty heavy. Oh shit. I think it's still alive. I hear a cooing noise. But anyway, uh, they, they're really heavy. So, uh, you can like, uh, you know, give it the old, uh, Fallout 4 grenade wind up. <laughs> Catch. Oh, so close. <laughs> anyway, animal cruelty is wrong. Don't encourage it. <laughs> so you don't know anything about this house? No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Any strange lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? I've never even been on this side of town before. But to answer it simply, no, I haven't. Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. Do you need help? I was actually just about to head on inside. Be good to have someone watch my back. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. Yeah, you don't stand a chance. I think we can both use doors at the same time because of mods. Oh, or the game can crash. And so we're back here at Markarth, or Markarth, however you say it. Um. There's that guy over there that wants to talk to us, and that guy wants to talk to that guy, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so I guess next episode we'll do that thing. I need to do a whole bunch of inventory management that nobody cares about. But, um, yeah, we need to finish our smithing journey. So I guess hopefully we can finish it on the next episode, cutting this one here. So if you've been watching, thanks, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.